Hey everyone, Ethan here, and as you can tell from the video, I'm out here testing the new Axial Falcon Wild Peak uh, 1.9 tires. So far, I'm really impressed by them, and uh, the added weight in the tire seems to be really helping this truck. Uh, I think the center of gravity is much lower than it used to be now, so the tendency to roll over seems to be uh, noticeably less and I've just been really happy with how planted the stance feels really uh, it's a really good looking combination with the Traxxas wheels and the tires uh, the setup is there's one wheel weight wrapped around the rim you can see that the wheels are sealed so the tires are that makes the tires sealed too because there's no holes in the tires and there is foams in there. Once I put the weights in there, it seemed like it really made the tires bulge out more than they did without the weights in there just because of the added material. I did not trim the foams. I think the uh, extra little push from the weights in there really helps the foams support the truck better. I don't think I would run this just air filled, but I've been really happy. The tires look really good. I like the more of the air sealed kind of tire style. I really miss that when I'm running um, open tires with just foams in them. You get more of a springy feel like you would with a real uh, true to scale aired down tire. Um, one thing I did notice about where these tires might not be the best is in soft sand. You can definitely tell that these tires sink in quicker which is what you're kind of looking for in a snow tire if you're in not too deep of snow but at a certain point uh, you really need to be able to float on top of snow um, these tires on the hill over there where the video is filmed um, the tires did sink in quite a bit and they sank in really fast just because of the narrow footprint that they have however I find the narrow footprint to be really scale and I can deal with that um, lack of performance really these tires grip much better in my opinion than the stock ones with a setup like this uh, they went up this climb right here which this truck struggled with before I took the everything off of the back end of this it would do it on stock tires without all the stuff on the back which you can see in my bumper testing video I'll link that right up in the corner but uh, this truck will handle that with no problems anymore which is probably one of the hardest obstacles I have out here so I guess I'm just gonna have to start making harder obstacles uh, I'm not really sure if there's anything else to note about these tires I did think that the inside of these bead locks right here uh, were I thought they might have been rubbing on the portals that this truck has factory although they are a Traxxas product maybe the tolerances are very tight in there because I did notice a little bit of missing paint but um, I guess that'll be more noticeable in the future if all of them have missing paint on the inside then we'll know it's definitely from the truck uh, another thing I did do I put this in crawl mode on the ESC basically that gives you there's no reverse weight, so it's instant reverse. There's no brakes to it, and you get a 100% drag brake, which really helps the truck on downhill. Normally, with the stock tires, it would kind of slide more, but these tires really hold their own. I tried it over here, and it's very controlled going downhill. So with the weight, the new tires, and just the way they're set up, I'm really happy with it. I think this truck is finally starting to get really dialed in for me. I think the next thing I'm going to do is machine myself a rear bumper, kind of following some of them that I found on the military style Land Rover Defenders. And I might possibly plasti dip the roof white like you see on some of the Australian Land Rover Defenders. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.